One of the electric industry's biggest hopes for preventing rolling blackouts, large-scale batteries took another hit today at PG&E's massive battery farm in Monterey County. KTV's Tom Vakar has been looking into the situation all day. He's live in the newsroom tonight with the story. Tom? Well, you know, lithium battery failures can often result in fires, toxic fumes, even big explosions. Around 1.30 Tuesday morning, one of PG&E's Tesla Megapack storage battery units in its only four-month-old electricity facility at Moss Landing caught fire. PG&E says an automatic safety system disconnected the entire battery storage facility from the grid. Monterey County Emergency Services issued a hazardous materials shelter in place advisory and closed Highway 1. This is nothing new. This is a 2021 Tesla Megapack Australian battery fire. Since 2018, research shows there have been 40 large lithium-ion battery fires, not all of them Tesla. You need to literally have thousands of cells, hundreds of batteries and modules, all electrically connected together. Invented for uh, small scale applications, handheld devices, things like uh, uh, mobile phones and laptop computers and so on. It was never intended for uh, massive stationary storage. Why? There have been quality issues with adhering to industry standards that, um, that uh, dictate um, what the right way is to uh, build a high quality product so that when it is fielded, um, it presents a low risk to the user. With all those cells in close proximity, the chances of fire go up. And so we shouldn't be surprised that we're seeing more and more uh, episodes of uh, fires. Some manufacturers have used poor quality materials, skipped costly testing, and quality controls, poorly assembled them into the final product, and rushed them into service. Nonetheless, lithium storage batteries are entrenched in large utility scale use today. There's this concept in uh, technological development called premature lockdown. And that's what we see with lithium ion. Lithium's worldwide manufacturers and users are highly resistant to newer, better technologies. No question there's something better, but how readily will it be received? Properly made, used, and properly maintained, lithiums are safe. We wanted to get a comment from Tesla, but they have yet to reply. They rarely do. Tom Baker, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Tom, thank you.